Well, hello again, I'm Mike Mazzalongo and this is the Bible Talk video blog. Today's blog entry is entitled, Born Again Virgins. Recently, I heard a report on the radio about a woman who was starting a movement where people were once again choosing to remain celibate before marriage. She explained to the interviewer that reclaiming their sexuality in this way was an effort to produce a sexual rebirth and renewal. Now, I don't want to be a spoiler here, but the idea has both good and bad things going for it. First, the good. When people choose to bring their sexual conduct in line with God's plan, whether they acknowledge Him or not, they've made a good move. There can only be beneficial results when people make an effort to control themselves and avoid casual sexual contact outside the security and the framework of marriage. On the negative side, however, there is the misunderstanding of the issue of rebirth. To deny oneself sexual activity until a suitable partner and marriage come along is certainly wise and closer to the ideal that God has set forth for this area of life. However, this change only affects our lifestyle, not the condition of our souls. Only spiritual rebirth, the kind that Jesus creates in us, renews the whole person, mind, body, and spirit. So sure, go ahead, renew your efforts at sexual purity and see the great emotional and physical rewards this will bring. But when it comes to being born again, only a complete burial of the old person in the waters of Christian baptism can make us virginally pure in the eyes of God and the depths of our conscience. Well, that's it for today. I'm Mike Mazzalongo and you've been watching the Bible Talk video blog. We'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.